One CNC two and a half axis machining provides the ability to work with wireframe geometry or solid models. Within the two and a half axis machining, we have things like pocketing, facing, profiling, chamfering, corner round, drilling, thread milling, slot milling, and engraving. To edit an operation, simply just select it and select edit and then go to work. Here we'll change the feed rate. We can easily come now and change the style. For example, we'll change it to spiral and there's the edit. You can also easily move operations just by taking your cursor and dragging the operation where you'd like it. You can suppress operations for post-processing, preview, and simulate as well. Notice that 1CNC also supports tooling. If we go into preview, you can see our vise and our stop. Of course, you can rotate, zoom in, zoom out, pan. You can suppress the tool and the holder if you'd like. It's all very nice, easy, straightforward, and effective. Now let's take a look at creating a CNC program. One CNC ships with over 100 post processors for milling. Just select the Fidel post processor here. Let's create the CNC program, and now we're ready to upload or download using our RS-232 comms. We also provide the ability to create some great job sheets. Now these job sheets are output as PDF files. Let's go ahead and select View PDF, and you can see we have all the cycle time, tooling information, setup information with datum, and each individual machining operation with tooling and cycle times. It's very, very nice. All right, let's take a look now at another part. Here we have a part with a different type of a fixture, and we also have multiple pockets. What's interesting about this is that we also support high-speed machining. This is provided for all of our mill packages at no extra cost. So if we were to edit this operation, you can see there's all the high-speed closed and open. Now let's take a look at simulate. Notice that within simulation, we can use a solid model if you'd like. And again, we can, we can suppress the tool or the holder if we'd like. So 1CNC provides lots of ways to simulate your toolpath and different methods for viewing the stock. Now what about if you want to machine multiple parts? Here we have one part. We've already machined it. Now I want to make multiples of this part. So we're going to go to multiple parts. I'm going to select the standard repeats. But notice that we also do support subroutines. But again, I'm going to go with standard repeats with just one work offset. And I'm going to use the array option. All we have to do is specify how many parts we want to create. That looks good. We'll click OK to that. And now we're going to assign a work offset. Now you can select the work offset from a pull down menu if you'd like, or you can type in whatever offset you want. I'll type in E100. That gets updated and we'll click OK. Now if we were to turn our tooling on and we'll go to preview, the great thing is that 1CNC is going to take each tool and machine each one of those parts. Let's take a look at this. Here's our first tool. We're going to face mill each part, and that's going to repeat until all the tools have been used. Very, very powerful and effective. Now, what about if you have a part that needs to be flipped? All right, so we have one part that's going to be machined first in a vise on one side. We're going to flip it and machine this side on a tooling plate, flip it again, and put it back in a vise to drill those two little holes there. So you can see we've already machined the one side in the vise. Now, to flip this, all we have to do is select our three axis reposition command. Now we can easily select the side or construction plane that we'd like to work on. So I'm going to select side 2. And why don't we just profile this? So I'll grab our profiling command. I'm just going to climb cut this. That looks great. And I'll just use the defaults here. So there's our profile operation. Let's slot this while we're here. I'm going to grab that line in the direction. And again, I'll just use the defaults. And there's our slotting. Now to machine that other side, all we do is come down and select the side we want to machine. Once we do that, that instructs 1CNC to flip the part. It's going to output the proper stops within the CNC program, as well as a comment. We're going to drill this. That looks good. Now let's simulate this. Head up here. We'll select Simulate. There we go. So here's our first operation. I've also done some rest machining. Now within 1CNC, you can rest machine as many times as you'd like. You'll see the rest machining in just a second. Got a little smaller tool. There's the rest machining. I'm going to finish profile with an even smaller tool. We'll drill this. Let's apply a chamfer to this. Now, the part's going to be taken out of the vise, and you can see it's being flipped now. We're going to place this on a tooling plate, and we're going to machine this. And again, 1CNC is going to output the proper stops within the CNC program, as well as a comment for the flip. There's our, our next rotation, and there's or flip, and there's the part. Very straightforward, effective, and powerful. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.